Joining us here in uh, our studio now is author and broadcast and friend of the Royals, Cathy Lett. Cathy, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. Oh, it's so sad, isn't it? Yeah. You, were you here when the coffin went It, it was, yeah. We made, we made this point a little bit earlier. It was uh, We were all standing here and watching it, and uh, and it was so quiet mm. out there as the car drove past. Just It mirrored the scenes in Scotland, really, and that's what makes it even more powerful, and I'm sure it's going to be the same tomorrow. Yeah. Well, it's fascinating that 94% of the world's population have only known the Queen. Yeah. And there's only 130,000 people in Britain you know, older than the Queen. Mm. So when I say she's sewn into our psyche, well, that's the reason why. Um, and we, she looked so well, didn't she? I mean, that's the other thing. Why we're still in shock is when she met her 15th British Prime Minister yeah. that day, she was all perky, and we honestly thought she was going to be writing herself a 100th birthday card. I Dear me, would, I Dear me happy 100th birthday, you know? <laughs> so I don't think it's kind of sunk into everybody quite yet. It's, it's not a surprise that along every stage of this journey from Balmoral that thousands, literally thousands mm -hmm. of people have, have turned out and it hasn't always been easy for them. They've lined up for hours, they've uh, stood in the, the blazing sun, they're here in the rain here outside Buckingham Palace but Cathy, you know London and the British culture so well. You say she's sewn into yeah. the psyche but uh, there are a lot of people in tears that have never met her um, and they are feeling the gravity of this moment. Do you think people feel a little bit, um, a little bit lost? Well, good point. First of all, I would say that the new research out today says that at least half the British population have cried, men included. Mm. Uh, I think there's also a great sense of nostalgia because, you know, we hark back to a time when you, we imagine that, you know, in the Queen's era, you could fix everything by putting the kettle on and having a cuppa, you know, yeah. that idea that it was a simple world. It wasn't really. But also Britain is going through huge upheaval at the moment. Yeah. We've had the Tory party imploding. We've got this cost of living crisis where people are choosing between heating and eating mm. and now the death of the beloved monarch. So no wonder people are feeling disorientated. It just makes mm. complete sense. You were lucky to meet her ten times? Yeah, about Over, ten over times. the years? Yeah. Wow, well, 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 Most famously, <laughs> you were wearing the corgi suit. That's right. Um, can you just share with us some reflections and some oh. thoughts on your on your meetings with that? There we go, <laughs> there. Look at the guy on the left. Look at his eyebrows. <laughs> they're they're, they're great about, eyebrows. Put me in the tower. And and the new king. Yes. Well, I, I can't tell you what we were discussing, but we might have been a slight mention of right. crown jewels at some stage. What's, I don't know. Oh, yeah, was it rude? Was it a rude? Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, look, there you are. Look, almost like a family album. Um, I can tell you about the Queen. I mean, a lot's been said about her stoicism and her tenacity, but she was very witty and twinkly and a, an incredibly good mimic. I mean, apparently she would have everyone in, in all her family members rolling with laughter every night, sending us Look, up. she's laughing at you yeah. here, so, because right? What did she say about it? Well, if you can see what I'm wearing, I've got this little suit on with corgis on yeah. it, and they've got tiaras with diamantes sewn onto them. Yeah. And I, I just happened to have it, it, because when I was doing some broadcasting for, the, for Wills' wedding, you know, I got I got this little suit made to make things more colourful. And we were all going down to Buckhouse for a bit of a barbie. And I thought, oh, wear the corgi suit. It's like, there's not many times you can wear it. Yeah. And I stood in front of the Queen and said, I hope you like this suit. I'm wearing it just for you. Although I'm slightly worried that one of your corgis might mate with my leg. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's when there was this kind of asthmatic, you know, gasp from the, from the equerries saying, what is that? She can't talk to the Queen like that. Yeah. But she just burst out laughing and said, oh, Philip, do come and have a look. It's right. Uh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Tell me about their relationship. I know you, you, you don't want to... Um, break any any rules here or, or be too personal but that is so lovely even that comment that she wanted to yeah. involved in yes. such a beautiful moment well, yeah. well don't forget her favorite breed of dogs corgi she's got 50 corgis of them, are she? very mischievous right. of all the dogs to choose yeah. very so good she point. likes australians too because yeah. we also are cheeky and yeah. can you imagine if you're a, a royal i mean people treat you like you're made out of porcelain you know, can you imagine the platitudes and the piffle and the oleaginous oozing and sycophancy? <laughs> and to have, you know, Aussies who just sort of yeah. don't stand on ceremony. And you were none of those. Call yes. it as, as it is. <laughs> it must be kind of quite a relief. Oleaginous yeah. oozing. Yeah, I don't know if that's a That's cool very topic. good. Yeah. And let's move on to um, Charles. Um, he's now the king. Camilla, the queen consort. You yes. know them well. What, what sort of... Well, I know them. I know them. Not my bulls and buddies well, no, or but anything. But, what, friends, but yeah. what, sort of, what sort of king and queen consort do you expect them to be? Well, first of all, uh, what, what I love about King Charles, if we can get used yeah. to saying that, <laughs> is that this is a man of great passion 
and, and strong politics. And he was, you know, long before it was fashionable, he was campaigning about the environment. Yeah. And, even, and putting up with all that mockery, he was pilloried, he was yeah. parodied, all of that. You know, his, uh, his Aston Martin apparently takes white wine. <laughs> This 50-year-old right? Aston Martin. I was reading about it today. Well, card of yeah. this, I like it. it. Yeah. So I hope that he keep he keeps that up. In fact, about 55 percent of the British population in the latest research show that they they think he should mm. be able to air his views, which is not normally what monarchs are supposed to do. But we need him to be championing our yeah. planet. But, but do, you um, feel, do you feel like he's tired at the moment? Is he is it exhausting for him? Do you think all of this? Oh, he's a se he's 73. I mean, he should be. This is just the time he like should be taking up some gardening <laughs> yeah. at Highgrove. And golf. Yeah. His secret weapon, of course, is Camilla because oh, she is. I absolutely. mean, the one thing you need to do is keep your sense of humour in that kind of job. And she does not suffer from an irony deficiency. And she's very open. Like, often I feel you have to do open heart surgery to you know what's going on inside an yeah. upper class English person because it's stiff up everything. Mm. And she's not like that. She's so um, candid and warm and witty and. Very, really easy to talk to. I always call her a closet Aussie or a Claus mm. uh, Yeah. So I think that she will definitely be his secret weapon and keep him sane and make him keep seeing the funny side of things. Yeah, she, sure. I mean, you can't compare anyone to the Queen, but if you had to say that Camilla's uh, values, that she really does mirror the Queen. I mean, there's this um, protocol in the Royals where yeah. you just keep calm and carry on. Yeah. You don't complain yeah. about things that happen to you. Well, some of the Royals have, have broken that protocol uh, <laughs> many times over yeah. the years, but I don't think Camilla ever has. I've got a real soft spot uh, yeah. for her, and, and she might be coming into that, you know, that second era that we talk about yes, with women. The glorious Kathy. second yeah. act. Well, also, she's a strong feminist, and we, we became friends through the Women of the World charity, yeah. uh, which uh, helps... Uh, you know, promotes education for women. Also, she's a, a very passionate campaigner against domestic violence, etc. So we have a lot of things in common. But also the Queen, in her own way, even though, of course, it's its hereditary title, was a feminist. Don't forget in the 1950s when she was became the Queen, women couldn't um, be bank managers, they couldn't be tra train drivers. Uh, Winston Churchill said, oh, how can she be a mother and the Queen? This, she's only a, a young girl. She was a 25-year-old mother of two. There was so much condescension around that. And don't forget, she also campaigned and changed, this is the Queen, primogenitor. So before, you know, it used to be that if you, the, queen, the daughter was born first, she was overlooked for the, for the son to be the king. So she stopped that. So that's quite a feminist gesture. Yep. So, More yeah. than a gesture. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So we yeah. girls stick together, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. 25-year-old 25, <laughs> 25, 25 year mother of two. And the Queen. Yeah. You got a bit on there. Well, she was yeah. a bit. Yeah. She was you got a, a bit going on. Quite yeah. 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 She did have hot and cold running nannies, but still, sure, she was but, a, yeah. a kid and career yeah. juggler, you know, in high heels and a tiara, and she yeah. didn't really put a, um, a step wrong. No, she no, did no. whole life. Yeah. What about wow. that? And that. That yeah. crowd's quite heavy, physically. Yeah. She's about a kilo. She practiquised yeah. before and she became queen. Yes, yeah. exactly. Lovely to see you, Cathy. Thank oh, you so you much. Too. I should have bought you some veggie mite sandwiches. You can't live on marmalade Marmalade today. today. Yeah. We've got <laughs> just the pret a ones. I've been sitting there for a while. I'll bring you some yeah. Tim Tams next time. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Lovely to Thanks, see you. Thanks, Cathy.